Now, let's do ratio and proportion. Karugtong lang ito. So, nasa number 12 na tayo. Please see description ng video ito para sa mga link sa nauna na nating na-upload. Yung nauna dito. Let's read the problem. If 40% of a number is equal to two-third of another number, what is the ratio of the first number to the second number? Let A and B be our two numbers. 40% of a number, so 40% of A is equal to so that is equals to two third of another number. So two third of B. Ang unahin muna natin gawin ay itong 40% gawin natin fraction para pareho silang fraction lahat. 40% means 40 per 100. So 40 per 100. I-list natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 20. 40 divided by 20, and that is equals to 2. 100 divided by 20, and that is equals to 5. So, 40% of A is the same as 2 fifth of A. So, this is 2 fifth of A equals 2 third of A. B. There are two ways of solving this. Pwede i-multiply natin yung buong equation sa 15. Saan galing yung 15? 5 times 3 is equals to 15. Para ito ay 15 divided by 5 and that is 3. 3 times 2 is equals to 6. 6a. Then 15 divided by 3 is equals to 5. 5 times 2 is equals to 10. So that is 6a equals 10B. Another way, pwede natin gawing cross multiplication. 5 times 2 and that is equals to 10. 10B. Next, 2 times 3 and that is equals to 6. 6A. Next, ipagsama natin yung mga like terms kasi meron tayong mga variables, mga unlike na variables, at meron tayong mga numbers. So, ang gagawin natin ay i-divide natin ng B ang both sides para makancel na si B dito. So, nandito na siya sa kabila. Ngayon, i-divide din. So, that will be A over B. Kaso lang, ito namang si 6 ay mag-divide din tayo ng 6 to both sides para makancel out si 6 dito sa kabila at nandito na siya sa right side. 10 over 6. Itong 10 over 6 ay malist natin yan by finding the greatest common factor which is ilalagay ko rin sa description ng video ito kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor nito ay 2. 10 divided by 2 is equals to 5. 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. Ang tanong dito. What is the ratio of the first number to the second number? Si A, yan yung first number natin. So that is A is 2, B. B, yan yung second number natin. Remember, sa ratio, yung A is to B ay pariho lang sa A over B. Yan yung wag niyong kalimutan. Which is, ilalagay ko na rin sa description ng video ito, yung basic sa ratio. Siguro, ano yun, module yun eh. Hindi ko alam kung anong grades na yun. Wait, baka hindi to klaro sa screen ninyo. Ang A is to B can also be written as A over B. Tapos yung tanong dito ay yung ratio ng first number Sa second number, si A yan yung first number natin at si B yan yung second number natin. At meron na tayong sagot. A over B is equals to 5 over 3. Huwag kalimutan ito. A over B is equals to 5 over 3. 
Therefore, ang sagot ay 5 is 2, 3. Kung medyo naguluhan kayo, just watch the video again until mag-gets nyo. Kasi sa mga exam pa naman, hindi, hindi nawawala yung mga ratio. Next, number 13. The fourth proportional to 5, 8, 15 is what? Ang ibig sabihin ng fourth proportional, yung first and second ay itong 5 is 2, 8. Proportion siya sa pang third and fourth which is yung 15 is to what? Ito ang hinahanap natin dito. Solution number 1. 15 divided by 5 and that is equals to 3. 3 times 8. So 8 times 3 is equals to 24. Kaya ang sagot dito ay 24. Another way of solving this. 5 over 8. Again, itong 5 is to 8 ay pariho lang dito sa 5 over 8. So that is equals to 15 over x. x. Let x be that number na hinahanap natin. Ang gagawin natin ay cross multiplication. That is 5x. 15 times 8 and that is equals to 120. Now, i-isolate natin si x dyan by dividing 5 to both sides para makancel na si 5 dyan. Or, since si 5 pang multiply sa x, pang divide na siya sa kabila. So, x is equals to 120 divided by 5 and that is equals to 24. Another way, 8 times 15, that is equal to 120. At i-divide mo dito sa 5, and that will be 24. Next, number 14. Two numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 5. If 9 is subtracted from each, the new numbers are in the ratio of 12 is to 3, 23. The smaller number is what? Sulat muna natin si 3 is to 5. Let n be that number na i-multiply natin dito sa dalawa para sa actual na numbers. Actual na numbers nila. Kasi kapag sinabing ratio, na least na yan siya. So i-multiply natin, mayroon yung common number na i-multiply natin sa 3 at saka 5. So, let n be that number. Next, if 9 is subtracted from each, so that is, by the way, itong 3n is to 5n ay pariho lang sa 3n over 5n. If 9 is subtracted from each, so that is minus 9, at ito ay minus 9. And the new numbers are in the ratio of 12 is to 23. Uulitin ko. Yung 12 is to 23 ay pariho lang sa isulat mo as fraction na 12 over 23. Now, pwede na natin siyang isolve by cross multiplication. 23 times... 3n, and that is 23, that is 69n. 23 times negative 9, and that is negative, this is 27, 207. Equals, I multiply din natin ito. 12 times 5n, and that is equals to 60n. Then 12 times negative 9, and that is negative 100 8. Next, ipagsama yung mga like terms. So, i-keep natin si 69n. Itong si 60n, since positive siya or mag-minus tayo ng 60n to both sides para makancel na yan siya. So, nandito na siya sa kabila. 60n equals yung negative 108, negative 108, 
at itong negative or minus 277 since pang minus siya, pang add na siya dito sa kabila. Or nag-add tayo ng 207 to both sides para makancel na si 207 dyan. Next, 69 minus 69n minus 60n and that is equals to 9n. Negative 108 plus 207. Pariho lang yan sa 207 minus 108 and that is equals to 99. Next, mag-divide tayo ng 9 to both sides para makancel si 9 dito at si n na lang ang natira. n is equals to 99 divided by 9 and that is equals to 11. 11 yung value ni n. Balikan natin yung tanong. The smaller number is what? 3n is to 5n. Ang smaller number nito ay itong 3n. Now, 3n. Yung value ni n natin ay 11. So, 3 times 11 and that is equals to 33. So, ang sagot dito ay 33. Next, number 15. In a bag, there are coins of 25, 10, and 5 in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. If there is 30 rupees in all, how many 5 coins are there? By the way, itong letter P dito sa mga coins, that is paisa. I'm not sure kung tama ba yung pagka-pronounce ko. At ito namang RS, yan ay rupees. Mga Indian money ito. So therefore, ang gumawa ng question na ito, which is hindi rin natin alam kung sino talaga original, Pero ito ay 100% galing sa India ang question na ito. Pero wag niyo i-ignore itong klasing question na ito kasi literal itong lumabas sa civil service exam which is ilalagay ko rin yung link, yung mismong kahalintulad nito na lumabas sa civil service exam. So that you will not be confused, let's make this 25 centavos, 10 centavos, and 5 centavos. Tapos, ang total daw ay 30 pesos lahat. Dahan-dahanin natin. Yung ratio nila ay 1 is to 2 is to 3. Huwag kalimutan, let x, or huwag kalimutan meron tayong common number na i-multiply natin sa ratio natin. And that common number, gawin nating variable. Pwedeng x, pwedeng n, pwedeng a, kung anong gusto nyo. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay letter n lang. So, this is 1n or pwedeng n lang naman siya. Pariho lang yan. Lahat ng variable na walang number na katabi, 1 ang coefficient niyan. So, n is 2. 2 times n is 2. 3 times n. Ngayon, i-multiply natin yan sa... Mga coins natin. Doon tayo sa 25. So that is 25n. Is 2. 10. This is 2n. Tapos yung last ay 5. And this is 3n. Ngayon itong 25, 10 at 5. Gawin natin siyang equivalent mismo talaga sa coins. 25 that is Point 0.25. So, point 0.25n. I-add natin sa itong 10, that is point 0.1 times 2n. Saan galing yung point 0.1, ma'am? 10 centavos, that is equals to point 0.1 peso. Again, para hindi tayo makonfuse sa paisa at rupees, ginawa natin centavos at pesos. Pero kahit doon pa tayo sa paisa at rupees, ganun pa rin. Ang equivalent niyan ay 0.1. Bakit yung 0.1 ang, ang ginamit natin? Para magtotal siya ng 30 pesos or 30 rupees. Then, i-add natin sa ano equivalent ng 5, uh, 5 centavos. That is 0.05 pesos. 
i-multiply natin sa 3n. Kung i-add natin yan lahat, and that is equals to 30 pesos. I-multiply muna natin yung iba. Itong isa, keep natin si 0.25n. Next, 0.1 times 2n, and that is equals to 0.2n. Plus, 0 0.05 times 3n, and that is equals to 0.15n. Equals yung 30 natin. I-add natin yan lahat, 0.25n plus 0.2n plus 0.15n, and that is equals to 0.6n. Nandun pa rin si 30. Ang gagawin natin, mag-divide tayo ng 0.6 to both sides para makancel si 0.6 dito at si n na lang ang natira. So therefore, n is equals to 30 divided by 0.6. Para hindi, mal, hindi kayo malito yung mga ibang nahihirapan sa decimal, mag-move ka lang ng isang decimal dito para maging whole number sa 6. Kung nag-move ka ng isa, magdagdag ka ng isang zero sa taas. So that is 300. Now, 300 divided by 6, and that is equals to 50. Now, yung 50 na yan, yan yung value ni N. Ang tanong, how many 5 peso coins are there? Sana ba yung 5 peso coins natin? Itong 3N. Ito yung 25, ito yung 10, at ito yung 5 peso coin. 3N. Ang value ni N dito ay 50. So, 3 times 50, and that is equals to? 150. Kaya ang sagot dito ay 150. For more examples about ratio and proportion, lalong-lalo na itong last problem natin na literal talagang merong lumabas sa civil service exam na kahalintulad nito, kaya never memorize the answer kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Please see description for more examples. Thank you for watching and God bless.